Hey Sagittarius and welcome to your March 2019 channeled messages from spirit. So uh, while meditating on your guys' sign and um, receiving channeled messages during meditation, uh, I kept seeing the number 444. Um, and what this means for me, a lot of times during meditation, I will only, when I call for a number for your guys' overall energy, I will only see one number, like a single digit number. Um, and I kept getting 444 for you guys, which is a beautiful, amazing number to have. Um, anytime you see a number in threes, like 222, 444, 666, um, it is, it's a divine, it's like, it means you're protected by the divine even that much more because uh, three is the number of the divine, of guidance. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So there's a couple different reasons why I'm seeing this 444 for you guys. So the very, um, the most prominent one is a lot of you Sagittarius's are in the path of awakening. Um, it's just a sign to let you know that... Uh, you're becoming more aware of spirit. Uh, you're becoming more aware of the spirit within you. Um, and you're really starting to reach out and try to learn about this new path that you are on. Um, you may not totally know where you're going, but for some reason you feel drawn in a certain direction. You feel drawn towards certain people. You feel drawn away from certain people. This is your path of awakening. Um, it's also telling you you're on the right track. You may be feeling confused. You don't know where you're going from here or or what you're going to do. But just listen to your intuition because your intuition is going to tell you where to go. You are being guided by spirit. You are on the right path. So don't doubt um, where you're at right now. Everything is happening for a reason. Everything is happening um, in the right time. Um, it also means that you're being fully supported on your life's journey because of free will. Um, your angels cannot interfere until you give them permission, but all you have to do is ask them for help and they are here to help you along your journey. You have all the love and support from your angels. You just have to ask them to um, be there. Uh, and the last uh, reason that I'm seeing for 444 is that Your angels are trying to tell you you are resonating with the universe. It is in perfect synchronicity. Um, so allow it. Let go. Let go of that anxiety, that fear, because you are truly in this harmo or harmonious moment um, with your creator. Now is the time that you're going to be able to manifest what you want. Um, you are going to... Uh, really become more aware of the spiritual dimension. Um, and you're really going to, the more you understand that you are not separated from your existence and that you are one with the universe, your perfect harmony is going to be even more um, predominant in your life. And this is absolutely amazing. So allow it to happen. Um, let go of that doubt. Let go of that fear. Listen to your intuition. Know that you're unconditionally loved by your angels and vibrate in harmony um, with that infinite, infinite create. I can't speak. Infinite creation. So um, very huge angel message for you guys um, this month that just just the energy that I got from um, meditating on your guys' sign was absolutely amazing. I came out of meditation like just revitalized and ready to, to move forward, which is amazing because a lot of times when I'm pulling energy in for um, channel messages, it I'm picking up on everybody's energy, whether it be, uh, you know, heavier energy or because I get all sorts of messages, good and bad. So Sagittarius, really the month of March, um, it's, it's going to be absolutely amazing for you guys. Um, absolutely. Just if you allow it, so many things are coming in for you guys. It's, it's insane. So, um, yeah, we'll leave that with that right there. So for, uh, 
for some of you, you guys are really letting go of fear, of sadness, of depression, um, and you're just really starting to focus on self, and that is um, what you are being called to do. Whatever energy that has been in your space, in your life, um, with all these people that you've been attracting, you're attracting to you what you needed to what you needed to learn. So, um, you know, you could be asking yourself, why do I keep attracting these people who treat me bad, who um, don't put my needs, you know, in front of everybody? And it's it's telling you that you need to start putting yourself first. Um, you're attracting that energy because that's what you are um, projecting. So begin to put yourself first, uh, make yourself your main focus, and that is going to be what then you um, bring in to, or into your energy. For some of you, you're really discovering who you are. You're really... Um, Yeah, I'm hearing you really need to forgive. So um, some of you are dealing with somebody who hurt you um, in your past. Yeah, there you're dealing with somebody who you feel betrayed you, somebody who um, who left you and really hurt you. You need to release and forgive. You need to wish that person well. You need to have love for that person, not like you know, mushy, mushy love, but you need to send that person, um, forgiveness and happiness and love. And, um, because when we carry around that, that I don't want to say baggage, but when we carry around that hurt and that anger and that, um, like ill will almost, all we're doing is creating karma for ourselves. Um, when you can't release that heavy energy, you're just bringing that energy um, back into your life in a cycle, and that's and that's creating bad karma. So you really need to release. March is a beautiful month for that release. Um, I encourage you. I think it's the twenty second. It's a full moon. Uh, a beautiful, beautiful full moon to do a release on. Um, yeah, my, yeah. They're saying you need mo March is a month of release. You need to. Um, you need to take time to forgive. You need to forgive your past. You need to forgive people who hurt you in the past. You need to forgive yourself for anything you've done in the past or forgive yourself for loving the wrong person. Um, you have to release all that has been done, all that negative energy. Forgive yourself so no more karma is going to come back your way of that form, in that form. Um for some of you, the universe is guiding you and you are allowing it and it is going to lead you to beautiful places. You are making a conscious choice to choose yourself. You're letting go of a toxic person. Yeah, it looks like... Okay, there's somebody that you're dealing with. Could be a Virgo, Aquarius, Gemini... Uh, Scorpio, Taurus. Those are the like heavy, like the heavy energies. Um, but I'm seeing all twelve. But okay, this person, you were connected with this person. Uh, I'm seeing, and either they left you and went back to somebody that they used to love. Or there was other people in your relationship. Um, you're going to find happiness after you truly let this person go. This person could have had narcissistic like behaviors. This person was putting you last. This person was all about them. It was all about me, me, me with this person. They didn't really... I mean, it wasn't always like this because in the beginning it was like what you felt was the perfect relationship. Um, and then just like a flip of a switch, it was like they were doing things and not caring if it hurt you. They were putting everyone before you. Their needs had to be met and they didn't care if your needs were met. Um, it's when you truly release this person, like truly leave them in the past. Not just saying you're going to leave them in the past, literally leave them in the past 
cut off yourself from that energy, forgive this person and move forward. True happiness is coming in for you. Some of you, it's going to be this person returning. Um, but you need to learn that you cannot associate with this energy um, or put up with this energy because you deserve more. Um, it's just reflecting back on like the lesson that needs to be learned is that you need to realize that you are worth more and you deserve more and to literally cut yourself away from this person, leave them in the past, truly not care if they come back or not. And when that happens for some of you, this person will return because the, the lessons will have been le learned. You won't be the same two people when you come back together because you'll both be healed and different at higher levels. Um, because you took that lesson and elevated, uh, your consciousness, but until you truly learn that, until you truly learn that lesson and truly let this person go, they can't return. If they do, it's just karmic. It's it's going to, you guys are going to repel each other and it's just going to keep going in a cycle. Um, for some of you, you're going to truly leave this person behind and you are going to have a true soulmate that comes into your life, bringing you true happiness and showering you with affection and love you unconditionally in a non-hurtful way. So either way, both groups um, that I'm seeing for this for this situation, you're benefiting in a huge, huge way by, by truly leaving this person in their energy and cleansing yourself and releasing and moving forward, forgiving, learning, and elevating. And it's and your life's going to start snowball effect. Um, just beautiful blessings coming in one after another. Um, if you don't let it go, it's going to snowball effect as well, but it's going to be the downside of the wheel and it's just going to be a karmic cycle that goes round and round and round. For some of you, you're having major changes in love. Um, your whole conscious, sh uh, is shifting. It looks like your thoughts and feelings. Yeah, you're having a whole conscious shift in your thoughts and feelings. Um, completions are bringing new beginnings for you guys, truly. Um, yeah, it looks like you, you're feeling really anxious for this group of you over someone of your past that is trying to intentionally screw something up for you. You could be in a new relationship, it looks like, um, and this person's like jealous. They could be intentionally trying to um, sabotage this relationship. Um, just make sure you stay at that. I mean, don't stoop to their level. Um, keep, keep walking in your high vibration. Um, keep walking in your truth because... This person's very deceitful, very sneaky, very underhanded. Um, for this group of you, you know this is going on or this had happened in February and you're trying to um, get over the, or you're like in the aftermath of what, what they caused. They could have told your person like lies or, you know, there's something where they're underhanding you, trying to split the two of you up because they don't want to see you happy because you're not happy with them. Um, for another group of you, you were also dealing with the aftermath. You had like three tower moments in February. I'm seeing three different towers. Just boom, boom, boom. Um, yeah, this had to happen because it caused things to fall away. So new things could enter. And at the time you were like, my God, what else can happen? But truly, you are moving into a more like a uh, stable state, you know, like a, your mental and emotional uh, state is really leveling out. This person, there was a lot of uh, like highs and lows. Um, Yeah, there, I just, so up and forth, back and, you know, back and forth, um, really unsure what they wanted, um, causing you a lot of mental anguish. It was, it's almost like they told you what you wanted to hear, but then they went and did something anyways. And like, they were just really unsure. I keep seeing in and out. Um, you're going to find a more stable state 
the more you walk away. Um, this person was in your life to, uh, teach you some lessons, um, and, and, and exit your life. So for some of you, if they have walked away after these three tower moments in February, um, it's time to begin the healing process. And when you do that, you are going to feel more mentally, physically, emotionally stable. And, and it's really, you're really going to see the reason for why it happened. Um, right now you're like, you know, you're just like, why, why me? Um, but very shortly, um, you're going to have one of those, um, moments where you're just like, you know what? I should be thanking them because, um, this put me in the position to now receive, um, a beautiful, beautiful gift. Um, and it's going to bring you so much stability and happiness. For some of you, you are dealing with somebody at a distance. This is a new connection. This is a, I'm getting butterflies right now. This, this person you could have met online, um, because there is a big distance between the two of you. Um, but this is cute. This is very passionate, very, um, sexual. <laughs> the two of you, even though if you haven't even met yet, the two of yours energy is just very attracted physically, but you're also attracted very, um, mentally, like you can sit and talk for hours, like spiritually, you're on the same level sexually it's out of this world and you haven't even met this person in real life like in the physical you you keep telling yourself you keep feeling like this is too good to be true like how did i deserve this person to come in my life or like you're like questioning is is this person really who they say is this too good to be true is this like something that i'm just feeling because you know, I'm, I just got out of a relationship or, you know, something along those lines. You're just questioning it because you guys have really been shit on in the past and you don't want to go down that road again. Um, I can tell you for this group of you, if this is resonating, they could be a Gemini, uh, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Sagittarius. I'm seeing cancer. This person, like, and you know if this is you because this feeling that I'm feeling right now is amazing. <laughs> like, it's almost too good to be true. It's almost too good for words. Um, I can tell you that this is a twin flame soulmate. Um, you guys have a deep, deep spiritual bond, a deep connection uh, that is just wow. Um Yeah, and you know this feeling is just different. Um, you could have been like, like if you met online, you could have like almost been drawn to them before you either one of you reached out to each other. Like, you know, you were just for something was like, something was like magnetically like bringing you together. So I don't know if that means like, before or after you started talking, but either way, this is amazing. Go for it. Don't overthink it. Um, don't hold back. Go with the flow, go with the flow of the universe. The universe is putting you two back together. You could be just getting out of a relationship with somebody who you thought was your twin flame or you thought was a soulmate. And, um, they could have been a soulmate, but they were not your twin flame. You are moving in the direction of your actual divine partner. Um, the two of you are going to go places together. Wow. This, that's amazing. You're going to travel in the future. Um, you both could have children. Um, there is an age difference I'm seeing here. Uh, the female could be a little bit older than the male. Um, anywhere from five to 15 years. Um, but they're stable. They are mentally stable. They're emotionally stable. Uh, just things are going to really go very fast for you, Saggies, um, for this group of you. Um, um, I'm not quite sure what. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, okay. So it looks like this is family. Somebody is like, I'm seeing somebody hiding something like hiding it from you. Um, it looks like it could be family, like a sibling, uh, a cousin, but I just see somebody hiding like items from you, money from you. Um, they're holding information from you. Um, this is making you very upset. Oh, this could be like a, like a, what do you call that? Um, like a will, somebody's will that left you things. This is making you really upset. This has to do with finances and I'm, I think it, I'm positive it's family. Um, you're really stressing out about this. This is really pissing you off and bringing you to a level that you don't like to be in. Um, release that stress, re release that anger because I do see the truth coming out and it being settled and you are on the positive side. You are getting what you deserve. You are getting what was left to you or whatever it was that they were hiding. Somebody could have took something from you as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be a will. Um, but it looks like siblings or, uh, some sort of family, but it's like close to your age. Like it's not like a parent to a child or, a, you know, yeah. For some of you, you're getting communication from somebody from your past. This is somebody who was controlling. They were out of balance. They were manipulative. They were, they were just not good to you. They are reaching out to you wanting, uh, they're wanting another chance after you moved on. Um, be very cautious about re-entering a relationship that was like that because this person has not changed. They are going to tell you they did. They are going to tell you whatever they want, think you want to hear because they didn't think you would move on. They thought you would wait there and wait there and wait there while they were um, piddle paddling out around town. Um, be cautious of that because they still have other people that they are dealing with. And I don't see them leaving that other person anytime soon. They're just reaching back out to you because they heard you moved on. They feel, felt you moved on. They seen you moved on and they wanted you on reserve um, in case something didn't work out uh, with what they're dealing with, but they still have that other person. And I don't see them ending that with that other person it within the next year. Um, for some of you, there's a new relationship coming in for this group of you. Um, this relationship is on a whole different level. Um, this is not like a relationship you have had in the past. This is a new relationship for those of you who are single. Um, this is somebody coming in, if not in the next two weeks, in the last two weeks. Um, this is somebody, I mean, like I said, this is a whole new level. You've never been with, a rela in, with somebody like this. This is very, they are very good for you. They absolutely, you absolutely adore you, um, and I don't even think you realize the amount of affection or not affection, like admiration this person has for you. They find you absolutely stunning. They could look at you all day, and they're like pinching themselves because I can't believe that they're getting a chance with you. Um, they're going to be faithful. You're at a distance from each other and that thought's kind of um, in the back of your mind. You could be holding off, giving this person a chance because of what's happened in the past and, and the distance. But this person, like I said, it's this person is not like anyone you've ever dated. They absolutely would do anything for you, whether they're with you or not. They're just that type of person and they absolutely are infatuated but in a good way not like a creepy stockish way they just they just think you are like smart beautiful well-rounded a great parent i mean they just think everything about you is positive um don't hold back this relationship will be your life partner if you open up and don't question it don't doubt it don't overthink it um just go with the flow just be in the moment and this relationship is going to end up being who you spend the rest of your life with. Um, I just heard when they look at you, they get speechless. They are just, 
your beauty like captivates them. Like they didn't, I just heard they didn't know they needed or wanted somebody like you until they met you because they didn't think something as perfect as you are was possible. This person's very passionate and this is going to move very quickly and that kind of worries you too. You think maybe it's moving too fast. Um, you don't want this to be like a rebound person. It's not. It's going to move very fast because there was delay in the past of the two of you moving in your paths, whether that be that person or you. Um, there was some sort of delay in a healing process along the way. So it delayed when the two of you come together. This is a new relationship. This is not somebody you have been with in the past. So now that you are meet, now that you met, now that you're on the same path, you're going to like, it's going to move very quickly. You're going to super speed ahead. Um, and, and getting in the part of the path that you're meant to be in. Um, this person that you are connecting with for this group of you, they're getting very anxious. They want you to come see them or they want, they want to come see you. Um, when you do finally come together, it's going to be, uh, I don't know how to say this. <laughs> it's making me blush. <laughs> it's going to be like, a sexual, like, not like, the two of you are going to be so physically attracted to each other. It's going to be intense. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that because I don't, you get the picture. Uh, just use your imagination. <laughs> um, for some of you, you are finally healing that broken heart. You're finally releasing the pain. You're finally getting back and finally feeling like you're on track. You are beginning to not be get back to yourself because you have grown so much from this pain that you had to endure. Um, that you have grown so much that you're not that same person. But you're getting to a point in your um to point your path that you are going to begin elevating. Um, so you're going to, you're in a good place. You're allowing love to flow in and you're flowing love out. You're going to be elevating um, because you learned your lessons. You healed your heart. You're moving forward. You're going to begin to get uh, major downloads. Um, and these major downloads are also going to bring a sort of awakening where you're going to start um, receiving or like noticing you have gifts. Um, your heart chakra is just beautifully like radiating. Um, and this is going to allow you to move into a higher level of consciousness, a higher level of spirituality. You're elevating, um, as a, a human, um, the strength you're going to feel, the inner strength you're going to feel is going to push you to places that you never thought were imaginable. You never would have had the guts to do that before. You never would have took the chance, the risk. This confidence, this strength that you are receiving in these downloads, um, it's going to move you forward, uh, bringing change to your life, major life changes, changes in your finance, changes in your uh relationships, uh, even with like relationships with your family or your children are going to just be that much stronger. Um, you're going to, your love for yourself is going to get very strong and that's going to then bring in people who have that much love for you as well. Um, your life as you know, it is changing in an amazing way. If you allow it, um, for this group of you, you can feel it already. You can feel this like almost tug that you're supposed to go in this direction. And you know, you're like, I would never have done that before. I can't believe I'm doing this, but it's going to bring you to places that you never would have imagined before. Um, you're going to begin to channel, um, Yeah, your, your connection with Source, 
you're going to finally realize your connection to source. I encourage you to find somebody who can help you open up that channel even more. I encourage you to meditate um, and because that's going to open that channel. Because you're going to start receiving your own messages. They're going to be strong. They're going to be clear as a bell. And they're going to um, just bring you to places. Like I don't even know how to put that into words, what I'm seeing. So congratulations on that. For some of you, um, you're changing your focus from love to a career, um, bringing in a lot more money. You're going to, for some of you, you're getting job promotions the third week of March. Um, for some of you, you're changing careers. Um, I see around the, uh, I want to say the 26th. I'm seeing on the calendar, the 26th with a big circle around it. You're going to apply for something that day. Uh, the first week of April, you are going to get an uh, interview. Go in like you already have the job. Have that confidence um, because this is a huge promotion for you or a huge step up. Go in like with the most confidence you've ever had before. Go in like you already have the job. You're just chatting with these people because you're letting that you're going to let that anxiety like kind of eat at you from the 26th, uh, you know, until the first week of April. You're going to get it um, for this group of you you're going to um, get that promotion. For some of you, you need to find balance. You're giving too much. Uh, your energy is depleting. Uh, I see you pouring uh, energy out, but none is coming in. You need to find that balance. Find that, uh, that balance within yourself. Um, if somebody is not giving you the equal uh, give and take, cut that person off. It's not, you're not being a bitch by... Uh, putting yourself first. You have to keep that energy level up or your work's going to start to suffer your f home life, your family, you know, um, because you're just going to be drained. So don't be scared to cut somebody off if they're not giving um, an equal amount of energy. If they're meant to be in your life, they'll come back at you with that energy and then ready to um, exchange because maybe that's their lesson. They have to give more. Maybe they're more of a taker. So um, if they're meant to be in your life, they'll return. If they're not, then you're doing yourself a favor and um, saving your energy. For some of you, um, there's a blow up about to happen. Um, don't fear this because when this blow up happens, you're going to then have everything out of the way, um, and ready for something new to come in. This is like one day, like Thursday shit blows up Friday blessings come in. I mean, obviously not everyone in 24 hours is going to receive their blessings, but I'm just saying it's such a quick turnaround. Like literally I'm seeing it like the flip of a coin, like shit hit the fan. And the next day, uh, you know, you're laying on the beach. This is a, this is a blow up. Like you're stuck for this group of you, Saggies, you're stuck. This blow up is going to cause you to move. It's going to put a fire under your hiney and get you moving. You're stuck in a situation that is not good for you. It's toxic. It's creating bad karma and it's just not good for you, but you feel for some reason, you feel like you have to be there. This blow up is going to be the most beautiful blessing all in itself. Um, just getting you out of the situation, follow your intuition and move. When this blow up happens, move in the direction you're guided to move in because that's where the next door that, um, to your opportunity is going to be. Um, yeah, because positive action is going to come from this. Some of you, uh, for some of you, you're leaving a water sign. Very heavy Scorpio, I'm seeing. Could be Cancer or Pisces, but um, you're walking away. You can't take it anymore. You put so much into this connection. This could be anywhere from five to ten years. You've been trying to get this connection to work. You love this person. You would do anything for this person obviously you have up to this point, but now it's time to walk away. Um, you're reaching out to them and just delivering the blow, telling them I can't do it anymore. Um, this person is going to be like speechless because they didn't think you would ever walk away. They thought they could do whatever they wanted, be with whoever they wanted, do whatever. 
with no regard to what how you felt, and you would always be there. Like, they have taken you for granted in the biggest sense of the word. You're walking away from this water sign, and, uh, and walking into a path of healing, you've now decided to choose yourself and decide you'd rather be single than to, to continue um, putting your energy into something that they don't even value you. This is... Um, your, well, this is one of your major life lessons, and this is going to move you into a path. Um, this is actually going to bring you, you're actually going to meet somebody in the month, in the month of April, the end of April. Um, if this is resonating with you, you are going to meet somebody. Yeah. Um, yeah, and this person's really going to help you heal. This person's really going to show you um, what life's about. It could be a friend. It could be a lover. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure um, which one they are, but they are taking your hand and they are leading you to healing. And they are going to be so important in your life. Um, the end of April, this person is coming in for you. Um, the person that you're delivering that news to, though. Like they're going to be like, you're going to deliver the blow and start, you know, turn around and walk away. And they're going to be standing there like just speechless, like dumbfounded. Um, they will realize what they had when you walk away. Um, but honestly, they are going to come back and want you. They're going to tell you they're leaving that person that they're with. Um, they could have been telling you this for quite some time that they were and they just haven't. They are going to come back and tell you that they're leaving that person. And this time they actually possibly could be, but to tell you the truth, um, you're going to be already to that point where you're like, you know, sorry, Charlie, but, uh, you should have known what you had when you had it. Um, because you're meeting somebody and you're going to fall madly in love with that person. And you're not going to want this person that you are leaving now. Um, they're going to want you bad. They're going to want you back. Um, but for the majority of you, I'd say nine out of 10 of you that this is resonating with, you're not going to give that person a second chance. You're just kind of going to be like, well, too late. I've already moved on. I'm happy. Um, and this person that you are moving on and <clears throat> that's making you very happy is an amazing connection for you. Um, you're going to, uh, you're going to create something together. Um, whether this be work or volunteering, there's something that the two of you do together that is so that you're both so passionate about that's going to really strengthen your bond and your tie together because this is something that you're going to do to serve the collective. So whether that be a job, whether that be a company, whether that be volunteering, it's something you're both very passionate about, and um, and it's it's going to lead you to um, just beautiful places together um, emotionally. For some of you, um, there's an apology coming for you guys, but you're unsure if you're even going to accept it because this person walked away from you in the past. This person really fucked your shit up. Sorry about my language, but they did. They really messed your life up. They not only once, but twice and three times for some of you, like it was like almost a game. They just kept coming back, leaving, coming back. And like right when you would get to this place of being okay, bam, they're there again, wanting, telling you everything in the world is going to be yours, telling you, you know, the old spiel. And you're like, you know what? No, I'm done. Like, I don't even need your apology. I've forgiven you already. I've moved on. Um, let's just go our own separate ways and let's leave it at that. They too are shocked because the connection the two of you shared was amazing in the beginning. Um, it was strong. It was, it was, you know, mentally, physically, emotionally, it was all there, but they hurt you so many times that this time you're like, no, I'm done. Um, that was another, uh, major life lesson for this group of you. Um, and as long as you truly have forgiven them, uh, that's a beautiful thing to do. And you kind of feel like you finally got your justice. Like, you know what? You came back three times. I let you in. Um, I was dumb and just fell for everything you said, let you come right in. And now you think you're going to waltz back into my life and I'm just going to take you back again. And this time I'm closing the door in your face. So you're kind of feeling like I'm getting this feeling like, <laughs> you know, like finally I got my justice. Um, this person knows what 
they lost. This person wanted to truly be with you actually in the past, but they let fear control their life. They could have let family control their life and they just stayed a little too long with somebody else and they missed the boat. Um, you're going to be just fine. You are going to um, come into a life partner as well. Um, some of you actually, you're going to come into a soulmate um, in the year of, uh, in the beginning of two, uh, 2020. I'm seeing January 2020. Um, for some of you, but you're going to have fun until then. Um, you're just really finally in a good place and you're, uh, very happy to tell that person you're in a good place. Um, for some of you, you're listening and following your intuition in regards to a third party relationship. You are the third party in this. Um, you're feeling like this person's never going to leave. Am I wasting my time? Um, they're never going to leave as long as you stay the third party. Now, for some of you, I'm seeing this two different ways. Uh, some of you, they are never going to leave, period. Nope. They will tell you they're going to leave, they're going to leave, they're going to leave. Um, and they don't plan on it because they're worried about their finances. They're worried about what their family will think. They're worried about what the community will think. They're worried about what their friends will think. They're letting everyone think for them and they're not thinking for themselves. Um, they're living in fear and they, and they're never going to, they're not going to leave this person. Um, for another group of you, they're not going to leave that other person until you put the third party to a stop. Um, until you take a stand and stand up for yourself and you truly walk away, you truly <clears throat> put yourself back out there, start seeing other people, um, start going out with friends and they, they see that they have truly lost you, then they will, uh, that will kick them in the butt and, um, and they will surpass that fear and uh, move in your direction. But as long as you stay in that third party energy, as long as you continue to allow yourself to be that second choice, they're going to keep you at second choice. So um, it's very important that you begin to put yourself first. You heal from the trauma of this third party and um, and move forward. And if it's not meant, if they're not meant to come back to you, you're going to find somebody else anyways. If they are meant to come back to you, it's going to happen after you move on. And it's so important, like, when people hear third party, like, the third party always gets, like, the bad rap. Like, they're always the homewrecker or the whore or the slut. But um, nine times out of ten, nobody, you know, nobody is out looking to, oh, well, there's a married guy. I'm going to ruin his fucking life and his wife's or his her husband's. Um, it, it's not like that. It's, you know, it's not, it. you never intend for it to happen. Um, and nobody unless you've been in that situation, recognizes the trauma that that third per party goes through, the hurt, the pain, the betrayal that um, that third party experiences through um, this situation. Everybody's focused on uh, the spouse that was hurt. Um, and nobody focuses on what the pain the third party went through. Make sure you are recognizing your own trauma. Make sure you don't play the victim role, but make sure you, um, within yourself, uh, recognize what happened to you, realize, you know, what went wrong or why it was wrong and heal that pain. Don't bury that pain. Don't, um, don't try to cover it up with new relationships or, you know, drugs or alcohol or however it is that people deal. Everyone is different. Make sure you don't bury that trauma. Make sure you heal the heartache that this third party caused because, um, you know, for this group of you, you were no homewrecker. You really were a victim as well. So, um, I mean, like I said, don't like live in that victim role, but acknowledge what happened and make sure you're taking the time to heal from that. Um, <clears throat> For some of you, you're going to find uh, clarity in a love situation. Uh, it's bringing you to m movement. Like I'm seeing you like, like once you come out of this fog, I'm not, even, I don't even know if I would call it a uh, confusion. It's just like a, I don't know where my direction in life is. I don't know what I'm meant to be doing. I don't know where I'm going to go from here. The love of my life who I thought was going to spend the rest of my life with me, who I thought was going to walk down this path with me is gone. And I just don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. I'm just going to chill out until I figure it out. Um, but I'm going to sit here and stress about it until you're coming out of that fog. The third week of March, you're just going to wake up one day and you're like, F this noise. I'm not going to live in this sadness. I'm not going to 
I'm not going to let them win type of mentality. And you're going to go get it. You are going to, you're going to make a switch. You are um, at a turning point. You are really finding clarity in this love situation and it's bringing you to movement. It's bringing you to big change. Um, you're getting what you have been trying to manifest, but it's not coming in as the person you've been trying to manifest. You've been trying to manifest a certain person into your life. And when you're manifesting, you're asking for this true love. You're asking for this relationship. You're asking for this commitment. Well, the universe has heard you and they're bringing all that in for you. But it's not in the form of the person that you have been hoping for. But it's coming for you and it's going to hit you like a ton of bricks. And it's going to make you forget about all about what's their name. It's just really going, it's just going to come out of nowhere. Literally, you're not even looking. Um, you just realize one day I love myself. I love myself too much for this. I know my value and I am going to start living a better life. I'm going to start taking care of myself. I'm going to eat right you know, whatever it is that needed that you feel um, need, is going to work to get you out of this kind of slump, big change is coming. Um, and the universe is just dropping it in your lap. Um, big movement, big change. Some of you could be moving because of a result of this. Some of you could be changing jobs, changing locations, changing homes. But this person's going to come in and rock your world. Um, Oh, yeah. This person is going to bring you balance, peace, happiness. Um, yeah, it's just going to bring a connection that is so strong. It's, you're, you've never had a connection like this in your life. Um, this person is your true blessing, is your true gift from the universe. This is what you've manifested. So be, so be cautious because I'm going to repeat, this is not... This is everything you've been trying to manifest in the form of somebody else. It is not in the form of the person that you want, that you've been trying to put a label on. Like, I want true love and true love is Charlie. You know, I want a commitment with George, you know, and then it comes in and, you know, his name is Craig. Like, who in the hell? This is not who I manifested. So do not block out new people you're meeting because this is a new person. Do not put a block on it because it's not Charlie because um, this is a love of a lifetime. This is a soulmate. This is a life partner. And this is going to bring big change in your life if you allow it. But you have to let, allow it in because, like I said, they're not coming in who you think they are. So allow new people in your life. Allow new experiences. Go with the flow. Um, like I said, uh, the angels are telling you you are on the right path. If you keep seeing 444, this is exactly where you're meant to be. You're on your path of awakening. You are being protected by angels. Make sure you call them in and ask for protection because there is, for some of you, someone in your space that is not happy for you. And when they are creating negative thoughts about you, it could be bringing you um, like psychic attacks. So uh, make sure you are asking your angels just for protection from negative energy um, so it doesn't bring in any, you know, towers into your life. Um, most important message also though, is just, it's March is a huge month to release, release and forgive because if you keep carrying it with you, it's going to bring karma to you, bad karma to you, release the negative thoughts, uh, forgive, forgive, forgive. The only way to not create and bring negative karma with you is to forgive the person that did it, whether that be you or somebody else, and to leave it in the past. Don't continue to bring up those negative thoughts because that negative negativity will bring in negative energy. Um, I think that is all I have for you guys. For some of you, actually... Uh, for some of you, believe in yourself. You're starting um, a company. Uh, I'm saying I'm seeing not to start it until May first or after. Um, do not start it in the month of March. Do not start it in the month of April, if at all possible. Um, just because there could be some hiccups. Uh, 
but believe in yourself, believe in what you're selling, believe in what you're doing, because this company is going to go places within eight months. Um, you're going to be on the map. Uh, so make sure you believe it because if you believe it, it will come true. But like I said, if you can hold off until, um, May 1st before you launch, um, I would, en I would encourage it. Um, if you're already in the works to start, you know, March 15th, uh, that's fine. I'm just, for this group of you, you have not, there is no set date. You're thinking about when, um, you're going to be ready to do this. Um, some of you aren't, you haven't even prepared anything yet. You're just, it's a thought, um, believe it into reality, believe it's successful, believe, um, you are a huge success and you will be. Cause like I said, if you believe it in eight months, people are going to know you, you're going to be on the map. Your business is going to be one that's looked for. Your business is going to be one that people are flocking to. So, um, most definitely believe in your dream and then go get it. Uh, for some of you, also, within uh, the career, if you are looking for a job, the third and fourth week of March is going to be huge for you. Get your applications out now um, and and don't undersell yourself. Um, don't not apply for jobs because you think you're not qualified uh, or having doubts, not knowing if you could if you could do it. Don't sell yourself short. It's going to be huge. You're going to be huge. Believe it. Um also, for some of you, uh, the if you are um, single and waiting for a soulmate to return, this is a soulmate that has been gone for three to five years. Um, this is an earth sign soulmate. Um, they're very slow moving, but they are coming back also the end of March. Um, I'm seeing uh, the end of the third week into the fourth week, like the 22nd to the 27th is actually what I'm, the dates I'm seeing. This person's going to reach out to you. Um, this person has actually been separated from um, whoever that was standing in your way in the past. Um, they've actually been separated for about a month now, but they're scared to come forward and talk to you because they think you have moved on past the connection. Just letting you know they're reaching out. Um, it's in your hands where it goes from here. So, all right, guys, I am going to wrap it up now because I'm at 50 minutes. I was going to try to keep this at a half hour. So, Saggies, overall huge, huge month of March for you going into the first week of April. Release, believe, and your blessings are coming for you. Um, this, these messages are so amazing. Love this month. Holy shit. Like the sexual energy between, especially like Gemini's and Saggies, um, your guys' messages, a lot of them were like very similar. So if you're connecting with a Gemini, whoa, or any air sign, actually, I haven't done Libras yet, but Aquarius's was pretty sexually intensive too. So like, holy cow, like, March is going to get crazy. So, um, yeah. So enjoy it. Allow yourself to allow people in your life. Allow that healing. Allow that release, that purge. Full moon, do a release ritual. Sagittarius, it's so important. Um, I do... Uh, I do highly encourage a release ritual. Also, a spirit bath, um, a cleansing bath, like a detox. Detox, because you are you are just, you have heavy energy around you. Also, for a large, I'm sorry, I said I was going to stop, but now I got them flooding in. Also, for a lot of you Sagittarius, your root chakra is blocked. If you are especially are thinking about starting a new business, wear lots of red. Um, like spirit baths, like those, uh, bath bombs, they call them, they, they color your water. Amazing for clearing your energy because that the, the co different colored water clears that chakra. Um, use those. It's amazing. Um, like I couldn't believe the, how much it like cleared, um, you know, cause I'm a Reiki master and it was like the energy, the auras, like it was just amazing. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, so a lot of you, your root chakra is blocked and so is your, uh, throat chakra red and blue guys for the month of March is going to be very important. Surround yourself however you can wear it if you can. Um, and, uh, for some of you, you guys are really feeling drained. Like, like just your body just feels like you know, you are always tired. This is because you guys are getting major downloads. Um, like you just feel like you just don't even want to get off the couch. Um, this is normal. This is natural. You guys are, like I said, receiving major downloads. Um, it's very important to eat lots of greens in March. 
eat lots of greens, like uh, raw, like broccoli, um, I don't know, whatever other greens there are, um, lettuce, kale, <coughs> spinach. It's going to help um, immensely with that energy because um, even though you guys are getting a full night's sleep, uh, your body is receiving that download and uh, and going through a lot while you're sleeping and, and you don't realize it and that's why you're so tired. Okay, guys, now I'm really cutting this video off. Thank you so much for joining me. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I love you all. God bless.